This is Shams Charania reporting from Las Vegas for the Vertical on Yahoo Sports. I'm here with Cleveland Cavaliers draft pick, Kay Felder. Kay, thanks for joining us. No problem, thanks for having me. So Kay, obviously transitioning from college where you played at Oakland, now to the NBA, what's the transition been like for you? Uh, just getting used to the pace and the defense and all the schemes that's going on, the ice and yeah. the week and the different calls that's going on. And it's a much faster game. So that's just what I'm getting used to, and that's the transition. So I know we talked during the draft combine. You talked a lot about, listen, when I come in the league, I want to show people I can defend, not just score. You're a high-level scorer in college, a passer. How's that been like for you? Oh, it's been great. I love playing defense, uh, you know, first and foremost. Uh, you know, in college it was a little shaky, you know, yeah. but, you know, being here at the next level, I've been having fun playing defense, picking up 94 feet, making the guy work for what he gets. What's been the most difficult thing for you, you think? Running the offense. Uh, definitely running the offense and trying to play through different screens and things like that because at Oakland, you know, it didn't come off too many screens, but we tried to use it. And, you know, I'm getting used to it. it that's the most thing. You've played well throughout Summer League. And um, I know for you, a big supporter in Cleveland has been Dan Gilbert. You had a history with him. He's a Michigan State alum. You had arguably your best game against Michigan State. What's that been like to just know how much the owner has tracked you throughout your, your, your past and how he was probably one of your biggest advocates to draft you? Oh, man, that's crazy. It, sh it shows that... They have interest in me, a lot of interest, because of what they pay for the pick. And, you know, him from, him being from Detroit, we've had that Detroit connection. And, you know, sorry about the Michigan State game. They still came out with the win, but I wish we could have won that one. The Cavs paid a lot of money to draft you. There was a lot of that this year in the NBA draft. Um, how, how much did that mean to you, just knowing this team paid $2.4 million to acquire this draft pick? It showed how much they wanted you, but how did that feel for you as a player? All means a lot. It definitely lifts the burden off my shoulder. Being, you know, in a waiting room, just waiting to hear your name or see where you're gonna go, things like that. Then you see they pay two for, two point four million for me. I feel like I owe them. <laughs> so now you look at this roster. Obviously, won, they won a championship. So you're not gonna have much pressure coming in as a rookie. But how much pressure do you put on yourself to be like, listen, I want to come in and try to, you know, back up Kyrie or set goals for yourself as a rookie. Uh, I definitely set goals for myself as a rookie. Just come into practice and get those guys better every day. Learn as much as possible. You know, try to be in the film room because, you know, I'm not going to play the minutes that I did in college. You know, I might not play at all. Maybe, maybe play two minutes. So it's going to be, definitely it's going to be a learning year for me. So what, what's, what's one of your biggest goals he heading into your rookie year, you feel? Try to win a championship. Championship <laughs> rookie of the year? That's definitely a goal I have in mind. Awesome. Okay. Thanks for joining us. For The Vertical, this is Shams Sharani reporting from Las Vegas.